Hey, I'm Bryson with Trick Tools, and this is episode four of our Drag Bike Body Series. In this episode, we're gonna be covering some advanced sheet metal techniques, as well as how to cut and fit your panels together for welding. We're gonna start off by cutting and fitting and tacking some of these back panels together on the rear section of the bike. Then we're gonna to move to the front, make our new side panels, which are gonna include some reverse curve. So without more to do, we're gonna get started on the back here and show you guys how to fit your panels together. All right, so there's a couple crucial things you need to think about when you're gonna cut and fit your panels together uh, and then tack them together, um, especially when you're working off of a buck. So uh, for instance, on this body, um, because the way this curves and then it actually tapers back down uh, to the side of the bike and then angles up here to the top section, the buck does the same thing. So if we were to just cut this and tack it all together, we wouldn't be able to get it off of the buck because of the shape of the buck uh, and the shape of the panels that we've now made. So uh, you need to make sure that when you cut it and fit it together that you're able to then mount it back on the bike without having to have any guesswork about where your buck was and all that. So with that, um, we're gonna go ahead and locate the pre-existing Zeus fastener tabs that were on the frame into our side panels, uh, which are down over in this area here. That way, once we pull this off, get it cut and tacked together, we'll then be able to uh, mount it back on there using the Zeus fasteners and it will locate it exactly where the buck had it placed uh, on there. And then also uh, the front, once we get our seat section tacked in place here, the seat sits down on, the, uh, on some tubes on the frame uh, pretty much. So it's gonna tell us basically where the Zeus fasteners hold it and here uh, it will hold the rest of this at the right angle. So um, with that in mind, we're gonna go ahead and start locating the Zeus fasteners and moving towards uh, tracing out and then cutting out and fitting and tacking our panels together. Okay, so to locate our Zeus fasteners on these new side panels, uh, like I said, we're gonna be using an existing tab that was on the frame to mount the old body. So uh, we have this pretty unique little tool right here that uh, is basically a mock Zeus fastener that we're gonna remove this panel and this with a notch on the backside allows it to slide inside of the existing Zeus tab, uh, slide over the spring, and then it has a little punch uh, machined in the face of it here to where We'll put it in the hole on the tab, put this panel back on, and then from there we can, using a mallet, uh, just tap on it and it will locate where we need to drill our hole from the back side. So we'll get that done. And then from there, uh, most Zeus fasteners, or at least the type we're gonna be using, have a slight taper on the back side that allows the face of the Zeus fastener to sit flush on the panel. So in order to get that little taper in the panel, uh, we have these basically a little dimple die uh, that has that taper to match the Zeus fastener on it to where we'll press that in. Then when we're all done, we put it together, the Zeus fastener will go on and we'll sit nice and flush with the outside of our new panel that we've made. So we're going to put the punch in there behind this panel and tap it to where we can locate our holes on both sides and then uh, we'll drill our holes. And that will, like I said, it'll allow us to where we can get all of these panels cut and tacked together. Uh, and at that point, they won't be able to go over the buck anymore because of the shape of the buck and the shape of the panels. So we'll be able to, with the buck off, put these back on here in this exact location uh, using the Zeus fastener. So we're gonna get started on that. Okay, so using our little Zeus punch, uh, we've marked the hole where we need to drill for our new Zeus fastener hole. So uh, it's too hard to see on camera, but basically it just leaves a little tiny punch mark on here. So we're gonna go ahead and drill this hole, uh, just eighth inch first to, to get it marked out. And then uh, we'll step up to the Zeus size and then we'll do the little uh, dimple die. And then we'll show you guys how the Zeus fastener fits in the hole.
Okay, so the Zeus fastener dimple die uh, comes with the correct size through bolt. So uh, put it on both sides, drop the bolt through, um, tighten up the bolt, and that presses the shape into the panel that we need. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Just like that, we have a nice little recess for our Zeus fastener. So this is the actual Zeus fastener we're gonna be using. So as you can see, uh, the tape on the back side just drops right in and that's gonna fit nice and flush uh, right on our new panel for the side panel of the bike here. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get this fit back on the bike, get this Zeus fastener in place, and then we'll start working on trimming and cutting these panels together. Okay, so we're at the point where we're ready to start um, tracing our panels. Uh, you know, these right now, obviously, this top one is laying over top of, you know, these side pieces here. So um, we need to be able to trace these edges, get them trimmed up and fit together so we can weld them. But uh, basically, I had stated that if we were to just tack all this stuff together on the buck, we would not be able to get it off of the buck because of the shape of the body and the shape of the buck it wouldn't allow us to be able to you know remove it once we got it tacked together so what we're gonna have to do is once we get all this tacked together we won't be able to use the buck anymore on the bike chassis so that's why i went ahead and you know mounted the zeus fasteners on the side because that's going to locate these side panels so once we get them cut and tacked together it's going to put it right back where it's supposed to be on the bike chassis itself and then uh you know, from there we can continue to build and, you know, fit and tack pieces together on the front. So some tips on, you know, being able to scribe and cut these panels out is uh, something I like to do, um, whether you're working with steel or, or aluminum is to use a Sharpie first to trace your line around. I use a pretty new Sharpie that's got a nice fine point on it. And that allows me to get right inside that edge, you know, on here to be able to put a nice black line on there. And the only reason I do that, I don't use that as my official cut line. The only reason I do that is just to highlight the edge of, you know, where I'm going to be cutting. So uh, it's just easier to see sometimes on aluminum, you know, that sort of thing. Even with a scribe, when you scribe that nice line in there, it's a real fine line and it's hard to see a little bit. So I use the Sharpie to kind of make that a little easier to, to look at. So I use the Sharpie first, go around it, and then I'll use an actual scribe and come back through and scribe over the Sharpie. And what that does is it gives you that nice dark black line uh, over the shiny metal to be able to see your scribe line a little easier. So um, from there, I uh, take the panels apart and I am usually hand trimming these panels. So um, that's the most precise way I can find to get a nice uh, precision fit between the panels is that you can easily uh, use some tin snips or whatever to uh, cut that material away uh, and be real precise up to your scribe line. So um, those are kind of some of the steps I use. So we're gonna go ahead and start doing that and uh, getting some of these panels fit together so we can tack them.
now we have these lines uh, drawn out on here. You can hopefully see that um, you know, nice dark Sharpie line on there to really highlight our actual scribe line. So I uh, went around with the Sharpie um, both sides and then did the scribe on both sides. So you can see how much material we're gonna have to cut off here on both sides. And that's not too much, but uh, once we get that trimmed up, we can then clamp these pieces together and from there, obviously, uh, tack them together and that will get this all in one piece here. And then we'll move to our side panels. We'll get these scribed, get those cut and fit together uh, and then tacked. And then uh, at that point, we'll be able to move into the seat area. I did not scribe the front of this piece on the front of this uh, seat pan uh, piece that we had made before, um, mainly so right now I can get these pieces all uh, tack together in the back, make that all one piece, and then I'll fit this on the table back to where I had it uh, on these pieces, and then I can tack these together on the table. And uh, you know, once I scribe and cut this front section out, so um, we're going to work on getting these panels off of the buck, and then we'll start trimming them up and get them all tacked together. Okay, so I've got these uh, pieces trimmed up here and I wanna show you guys something that uh, I know I had talked about in the last episode, which was uh, these panel grippers. And unfortunately, these two pieces were drilled and clico together um, before we even knew what grippers were. So uh, basically with these clico holes, they're too far in from the edge of our panel here to be able to put the gripper in here and hold on to this other panel to be able to line them all up. So what I'm gonna do, for example, is to drill a few more holes right on the edge of the panel and these grippers will go in and they'll be able to, once these pieces are tightened together, uh, it's basically just like you would a Clico hole um, you drill your hole, you slide the gripper through, and then there's the second part on the back side that you then thread onto the little stud. And then when you tighten that up, you basically drill the hole close enough to where when this is on here, it will overlap your other panel to where when you tighten that up, it holds both panels uh, perfectly in line so you have a nice butt weld seam. So I'm gonna drill a few more holes to be able to put these in place and hold all this together instead of using clamps uh, to show you guys how easy and simple these are to use. So we're gonna go ahead and drill some holes and uh, get working on fitting these two pieces together so we can tack them.
Okay, so you can see I've only put four of these grippers uh, in place on here just to get this initially fit up. Uh, I'm gonna place a few more around here and it'll really pull these two pieces together and uh, get it all held nice and tight uh, without the use of big heavy clamps or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a few more in here uh, and then if everything looks good, we'll start tacking them together, so. Okay, so now that we have uh, all this reassembled back on the buck, we're going to use the same technique uh, with a Sharpie across here, uh, get that lined out, and then we'll mark it with an actual scribe. 
and that'll highlight that line for us. We'll cut it by hand and then we'll tack these pieces together. And uh, at the same time, uh, we put the back of the seat panel uh, on here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark this also and uh, get that trimmed up. And then we'll be able to tack all of this together to where it's all basically one piece from the back of the seat uh, to the rear. So at that point, once that's all tacked together, uh, we'll move forward and uh, work on cutting the seat pan area into the back and into the front. We're also going to trim this a little bit uh, to give us um, more of an outline of what these new side panels are going to look like. So we're going to keep moving with this and uh, get this all tacked together. So.
so uh, you guys can see <coughs> and what I've done uh, just for example's sake uh, you know I've had to clamp this all the way down to get it tacked in place and obviously that works um, you know you got to move the clamp down as you're tacking it and that really keeps your your pieces level with each other so um, the other option would have been to drill those holes and put these panel grippers in you know all the way down uh, you know you wouldn't necessarily have to do uh, every inch and a half or so about what these tacks are you could have spread them out just a little bit but if you put more of them on there it holds the panel uh, level all the way down then you go through and tack them and uh, it makes it a little bit easier instead of having to undo and reclamp every time you want to move down so uh, I did this just as an example so you guys can see uh, possibly some of the time savings that can be had using these panel grippers so uh, we're gonna go ahead and finish tacking this uh, we'll move to the other side get that tacked on and uh, then we'll show you guys uh, what it looks like on the bike. This is where we're going to end part one of episode four. If you want to check out all the other videos in this series and get updates on when the next episodes are going to be launching, subscribe to our YouTube channel. In part two of episode four, we're going to show you the rest of the sheet metal fabrication all the way through to getting it tacked together and ready for welding. Hope to see you then.